Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Hi MSMATX, today we have really interesting gray and I would say like relaxing algebra question. x plus y equal to 5 and the product x times y equal to 25, we need to find our x and our, our y. How can you do this? You can also pause the video and write your solution, write your assumption down into the comment section and we will check your answers here in just few minutes. So first of all, from the first equation, let's express our y. Okay, let's do this. So from the first equation, our y equal to, we have right here 5 minus x okay from the first equation from the from the first one let's write right here our one from the first equation y equal to 5 minus x right now let's plug in this 5 minus x instead of this y so as a result what do we have right here we have x times 5 minus x equal to equal to 25 okay we're gonna plug in this this uh, 5 minus x instead of this 5 let's uh, simplify this a little bit this is basic basic school question so we will have like 5x minus x square equal to equal to 25 it looks like this is a quadratic equation but we prefer a little bit different order yeah we prefer minus x square on the first position so let's write it so we have right here minus x square on the first position the next we have plus 5x and let's bring this 25 from our right side to left side so we have right here minus 25 equal to equal to zero right now let's multiply it by minus one because we prefer x square not minus x square it's a little bit difficult for us so right now let's multiply it by minus one or let's divide doesn't matter as a result we will have like x square minus 5x and plus 25 equal to equal to zero really great right now let's solve it let's solve it according to a discriminant we can easily solve it because this is a basic quadratic equation we have x square we have x we have a constant so right now let's write our discriminant formula we have b square minus minus 4ac as a result let's plug in each of these coefficients into this spot let's do this right now so we have right here b square we have minus 5 square minus 4 times 1 and times 25 as a result we have right here 25 yeah minus 4 times 25 we have we have uh, 75 no no we have 100 yeah we have 100 equal to as a result our discriminant equal to 25 minus 100 equal to minus 75 and a lot of students confused about this discriminant because they say okay discriminant is is negative so we don't we can solve it we don't we can solve our x and y and that uh, go, they go to the next question but basically we have a negative discriminant so we will have like two roots but not real roots but complex roots so let's see what will happen so our x first and second okay like first and second equal to we have minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over to a which is equal to we have minus b we have minus minus 5 plus minus square root of minus 75 and we divide all of this by 2a by by 2 2 times 1 okay let's write it as a right now let's simplify this a little bit we have right here 5 because we have two minuses plus minus square root of minus 75 and all over all over 2 and okay we have right here two so two roots two roots but complex roots because basically we can easily express this minus 75 in terms of product let's do this right now so we have x first and second equal to we have right here we have 5 plus minus square root of minus 1 times square root of 3 and times square root of 25 in terms of in terms of square root we can easily split it by three parts 3 25 and minus 1 and we divide all of this by 2 right now let's look closely what do we have square root of 25 equal to 5 so as a result we can easily write it as 5 plus minus square root of 25 equal to 5 and uh, square root of minus 1 this is our complex unit this is our i and square root of 3 let's leave it like that times square root of 3 and we divide all of this by by 2 and for um, easier solution let's divide 5 by 2 let's try to create this decimal decimal expression so as a result we have 2.5 plus minus and this one 5 i square root of 3 over all over all over 2 this is for easier like simplifying in the next steps right here so this is our x first and second 2.5 plus minus this complex this is real part this is imaginary part right now let's find our y y because don't forget about this y equal to 5 minus x let's do this so y equal to 5 minus x don't forget about this let's underline this y equal to 5 minus x and we will have like x first and x second so let's split it by two parts 
right here we have x first equal to we have 2.5 let's go with the plus sign 5i square root of 3 over 2 and x second equal to 2.5 with the minus sign minus 5i square root of 3 over 2. right now let's plug in x first right here and x second as, as a result we will have like y first and y second so right here we have y first equal to 5 minus this x so 2.5 plus 5i square root of 3 over over 2. as a result we can easily open our parentheses so we have y first equal to we have 5 minus 2.5 and minus 5i square root of 3 over over 2. So we have y first equal to, right here we have 2.5, and that's why I divided by 2. 2.5 is much easier to subtract right here. So 2.5 minus 5i square root of 3 over over 2. Really great. And basically we will have like absolutely the same thing right here with y second, but a different sign. We have right here plus minus, right here we have minus plus. Okay, so we have 2.5 plus 5i square root of 3 over over 2. And a lot of students say, okay, Mr. But we have like a complicated expression. We have a square root, we have a fraction, numerator, denominator, imaginary part, real part. So let's check it. Let's see. Maybe this is not a correct solution. Let's see. Let's check it. Okay. First of all, let's write our full solution right here. And then we will check it. So let's split it by, by the part. So we have right here x and y equal to we have right here x first we have 2.5 plus 5i square root of 3 over 2 and 2.5 minus 5i square root of 3 over over 2 this is our first pair of solution and let's write our second pair of solution so we have right here 2.5 this is our x second with the minus sign 5i square root of 3 over 2 and we have the next one 2.5 with the plus sign 5i square root of 3 over over 2. So these are our two pairs of solution. But the main thing, let's check it because we have a complicated expression. As I told before, we have a complicated expression. Let's check it. So let's prove it. Let's let's check it right here. So from the previous step, we know our question x plus y equal to 5 and xy equal to equal to 25. First of all, let's check, for example, our addition. So x plus y equal to 5. We have right here addition, so doesn't matter x plus y, y plus x, it will be equal to 5, and it means that we need to check only one of these. We don't need to check both of these because x plus y equal to y plus x, and uh, right now let's check for example this one. As a result, x first 2.5 plus 5i square root of 3 over 2, we have plus 2.5 plus, uh, no we have right here minus, don't forget about this, we have uh, y uh, first and uh, 5i square root of 3 over 2. We can easily cancel this, and as a result we have 2.5, 2.5, when we add it we have 5, and this is equal to 5, this is equal to 5, so everything, everything is great. The first equation works perfectly, right now let's check our second equation, we have right here a product. Okay, so we have xy equal to 25, xy equal to 25. Right now let's check it. And once more, we don't need to check both of these uh, pairs of solution because we have multiplication. So xy, yx, it will be absolutely the same thing. So let's do this. So we have 2.5 plus 5i square root of 3 over 2 and we have 2.5 minus 5i square root of 3 over 2. And a lot of students multiply parentheses by each other, but if you look closely, 2.5 plus 5i square root of 3 over 2, and we have the same thing, 2.5 minus 5i square root of 3 over 2. And if you look, if you know a little bit about algebra, this is our formula a square minus b square. This is difference of squares. We have a plus b, a minus b. Okay, so this is our difference of two of two squares. So let's do this right now. Let's do the thing right now, and right now let's, let's do this. So we have 2.5 to the second power minus 5i square root of 3 over 2. We need to squared it. Right now, 2.5 to the second power. This is our 6.25. Yeah? Really great. Right now, minus. Right here, we need to raise all of these elements to the second power. We have 5 square, we have 25, times i square, and times, we have right here, square root of 3 to the second power equal to 3. And we divide all of these by, by 2. Okay, not like by 2 by 4, don't forget about this, we need to raise numerator and denominator, okay? This is our 4 right here, which is equal to 6.25. The main sign will be plus because i square equal to minus 1, so we have right here plus. 
and we have right here 75 over 4. If we divide it, we have 18.75. And if we add it, we have our 25. So if we add it, yeah, we have tw uh, 24 and 20, uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.75, we have 25 equal to 25 so our solution is absolutely absolutely correct as you can see this these are complex solution but absolutely correct solution so i don't have enough space so this is our answer this is our main answer to this question two pairs of solution which are absolutely absolutely correct addition works perfectly multiplication works perfectly if you have your own solution you can also write your solution down into the comment section i know that there are a lot of faster method but this is like basic school method okay basic school method we express we express y through the x right here and we plug in into the second equation if we will have like one or two roots and we group in it together y first uh, x first and y second y y second Thank you everyone for your time, thank you everyone for your support, I hope you learned something new, I hope you understand something new, and see you in the next videos, have a great day, also write your question down into the comment section, write your solution, write your notes about this question, it will be really interesting to read about it, and it will be really interesting to exchange, to exchange information. Thank you everyone for your time, see you in the next videos, and have a great day.